one here is the Stanley Cooler. I think this was about $50. I don't even know if I like these that much. So I don't blame them for locking the door. He could have just called the police. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Say hey to the people, Will. Hey people. <laughs> we're both off today and so we're just doing some Dora the Exploring around different areas of Texas. And so we just went to this restaurant and y'all, I know I'm supposed to be on a diet not a diet i'm supposed to be on my healthy eating journey but i don't know the food in texas is just like so many restaurants to check out and now we're at adriatica village y'all this place looks like they brought greece to texas okay so i've never been to greece that's on the bucket list stay tuned for the travel vlogs in 2025 we speak in that yes hint hint we're about to get out of the car. What's up you guys? We are starting off the vlog in the car today and I'm gonna try and make this quick because I don't want my camera to overheat. We are trying a new setup right now y'all. Um, this is my first time using this section in the car. So camera is nicely prompted. and You can't even tell I'm behind the wheel. Not unless I was to tell you guys, but yeah y'all. I'm about to go in Target and then we're going to Pure Bar class y'all. I got some weights the other day but I still want to get the kettleball like this but I just feel like $44 is too much for this it's a little too much for me so I'm gonna look on Amazon and then I wanted to look at these coolers I wanted to look at the Stanley version let me see if Target has them because I went on the Target I went on the Stanley website last night and the prices I saw I was like no way no way no way y'all gotta be kidding me so okay this one here is the Stanley cooler and how much is this I think this was about $50 I don't even know if I like these that much the stanley lunch bags but i don't see them y'all we are pressed for time now um just because i had to stop to target to get those grip socks which i should have gotten yesterday but anyway i got them and i secured them so now we're gonna make our way to bar class hopefully we're not too late so let's see <laughs> let's go y'all um i may have to try and catch some clips on my phone if not like i said i'll tell you guys all about it so let's go Just a little update. <laughs> I know y'all saw that sign on the door. 
I know y'all saw that sign on the door, so it wouldn't be me if I wasn't late. And of course, this morning, I was late. I will blame it on that Target run though. Tell me why I went into Target and completely got distracted. I ended up looking for the Stanley lunch bag and I picked up like a little tank top. So all of that took up my time. <laughs> so I got to the class about 15 minutes late and the class is only 30 minutes y'all. So I don't blame them for locking the door. Their smoothies. So whenever I do buy a smoothie out, I now come to Tropical Smoothie. This smoothie y'all, I thought it was gonna be sweet. I almost told them not to put any bananas in this just because I didn't want the sugar from the banana, but I left it as is. This was supposed to have, it's a green smoothie. It's called the Island Detox. So it's supposed to be like the spinach, kale, banana, pineapple, and something else. But y'all, this is not sweet at all. And so of course I had to pick one up for my man. He's at home. Um, he got the Island Colada and most likely his is gonna taste better. He always picks better choices, but he just got this one for the taste. I got mine for health, <laughs> for the sake of trying to be healthy. Oh my gosh, this has rice in it. Tell me why I didn't see that. Tell me why. I'm not supposed to be eating any carbs today. So, I'm just going to take a bite of this. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. But it has beans. I knew that. That was fine. But the rice, I did not want, y'all. But this is the Caribbean jerk chicken wrap. And let's see. First impression. Let me correct that before someone jump on me in the comments. I said I didn't want any carbs, but I know that it is a wrap and most likely the wrap, most likely this wrap is made from flour. So I knew that part, but no, I just really did not want the rice. It's good though, especially with the pineapples in it. It's like a pineapple salsa that they added to it. So it's good. I'm going to take one more bite and then I'm going to put this away. Hey y'all, so it's been a few hours later. Um, I am home, as you can see. <laughs> uh, where's my phone? Oh, So I actually just got a message from work with them asking if I can come in to do a shift tonight. And I'm like, uh, like I just had a feeling because today is Wednesday. I just had a feeling that they probably were going to ask, but at the same time, I still didn't really prepare in my mind to go just because well it's 4 30 now and i would have to be to work for six so they're sending this message very late and so yeah i'm just not really prepared and i think my mind was already um sort of like set on sort of set on going to this class so y'all know that i missed the class earlier today they had another session tonight for seven that i signed up for and so we're still going to bar. I'm happy about that. It's already set on that. So that's what I want to do. I don't know why I feel <laughs> sort of bad or sort of sorry for them. But not sorry enough to go. So yeah, we're going to bar. I actually just got a confirmation message for the class tonight. And it states, please arrive 10 minutes before your class. We will not accept late entry i know y'all say i'd be talking a lot but speaking of work too like covid is back okay i don't want y'all to sleep covid is back so i don't know if it's to the point where we should be wearing like masks outside again but covid is back y'all we've been getting patients coming into work with covid on isolation and there were 
a, there were one or two days where I came home like sniffling and I could feel like the cold in my throat and stuff like that and so it had me a little shaken up because I have not have co because I have not had COVID since you know what there was this one time that I did get sick I don't think I got tested for COVID but it was around that time and I had a fever for about a day or two that could have been COVID unofficially but I don't want COVID and yeah like we've been getting those kind of patients lately isolation patients for different reasons and so just be careful out there if you're not wearing your mask just try and you know keep your distance from people when I hear people cough and sneeze and I like turn my head right away because I don't want those airborne pathogens to fly in my face so I <laughs> turn my head or walk quickly walk the next way or you know do something and make sure you're using your hand sanitizers um, the symptoms they don't seem to be as bad and probably because by the time as the patients come to us you know it's uh it's an inpatient rehab where i work so not a nursing home but more like for physical therapy and stuff by the time as the patients come to us maybe their symptoms are not as bad because they would have had to be released from the acute care hospital first before they come to our facility but in any event i don't want covid i know you don't want covid so just try and stay safe um, if not wearing a mask then use your hand sanitizers and keep a little distance from people you don't know whenever possible Hey y'all, so it's been a few days later, um, maybe about two days since we've done the bar class and I really wanted to end the vlog there but I'm like I can't end the vlog without actually telling you guys how the bar, cl how the bar class was. So bar is basically a mixture of ballet, yoga and pilates if i'm not mistaken i may or may not have mentioned this in the car that particular day but i used to do ballet y'all <laughs> whether i look like it or not your girl used to do ballet way back in the day like probably my mommy mommy if you're watching this you could probably comment down below and give us a little um age bracket of when i did ballet but i definitely did it i just did like the dance part of it not like point or tap and i don't know why i stopped i don't know if i just got bored or tired of it i don't know if school got in the way but for whatever reason i did not see it through and so anyway this class is like a little bit of that because it has literally the bar in the class like going all around the room that you can hold on to like do different things so the class is just really about strengthening um so there's like stretching and strengthening of the muscles and, and i enjoyed it it was it was different and it was more like low intensity workouts um they said that you could get cardio depending on which type of the class which version of the class that you do but um i think what i did that free session was like a mixture of everything but for the most part it's more like low intensity workouts that really hone in on specific muscles and like i said strengthening them and also like i said stretching them too and so i think i'm gonna go back but they have so many different locations you know i'm in the middle of doing my hair, adding in my clip-ins. They have so many different locations that I'm not sure which one I want to, uh, which one I want to go to yet. Um, the class was 
I guess a good size. I want to say a little small, but I guess it was big enough. But the price, the price is a little pricey. It's, it's something that will benefit me and my health journey, my fitness goals. I mean, technically, the price that they charge in is is around what we pay for the gym back home in Nassau I want to say because gym membership fees here you could get from like 10 20 dollars you literally have no excuse to go or not to go to the gym but back home gym prices are not that cheap so I would say that the bar class is about that price I think I'm gonna come back on here when my hair is done So I know I'm looking a little crazy with my lips being lined like this, but I was debating on whether I wanted to come on camera fixed or if I wanted to show you guys this new product that I sort of came across. Um, it's not new, but it's new for me. So I'm trying it out for the first time. Trying it out for the first time, as you can see. It looks crazy. And all that effort I took trying to do my hair is now just looking a basic. Well, I mean, I'll say basic. It's better than it was. I just need to spray some oil sheen on there and just flip this part of it again. I don't know how much of you on here are actually nurses but there was this um story that i heard on the news just okay this isn't working there was this story that i heard on the news just this week of this nurse was being basically a good samaritan and trying to assist with an accident that was on the highway here in texas i think what had happened was there was a car accident and the drivers of the car got in to it basically and she must have seen them fighting and probably pulled over to try and stop it now i don't know why you would do that you're not a police you're a woman you're a nurse you basically put yourself in danger now yeah i understand we have like an oath that we carry out whatever I just feel like putting yourself at risk is crazy. It's, it's crazy. And especially if it's two males fighting, like, what are you going to do? How are you going to stop them? What was your plan? So basically, she got out of a car. In doing that, I think the guy that was really going irate, he then flipped on her and basically hopped into her car and then started like chasing her in her own car on the highway so i don't understand how <laughs> all of that was possible but um they showed clips where he was basically trying to run her over so she was like running while the car was like just going in circles trying to run her over and eventually he got her and she was pinned underneath the car my thing is and she she did she didn't die or anything like that but she did sustain bruises thankfully that was it um and even like when they interviewed her on the news she was like she didn't want her face to be shown probably because she knew what she did was a little loony a little lunatic you know because what were you expecting to happen i mean of course not for the guy to turn to fight you you didn't do anything but i don't know sometimes you just have to set up just stay out of people's business i want to say what i want to say is that maybe she could have just called the police okay so my camera cut off but basically i left off by saying that there's this good samaritan law that provides legal protection for any healthcare worker that wants to stop and assist so for myself being a nurse if i want to stop and help someone on the side of the road I am covered if I decide to help. 
I'm legally protected, legally, legally covered. So that's what the Good Samaritan law is about. So anyone can stop me. I'm not too fond of that. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be that nurse that it sounds bad, but I'm probably going to be that nurse that drives past. And like I said, I'll call the police, call the ambulance, whatever. Now, it just depends on the situation. Let me say that, because if I had seen them guys fighting, I wasn't stopping. I could tell you that much. I was not stopping to help them or to try and part them part ways. No, you don't do that. Um, and of course, this nurse was of the other <laughs> skin tone. But yeah, so now she get all beat up. She all bruised up and stuff like that. But I don't know. Maybe she feels like a hero. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, we're about to head out. Hubby is hungry. He's hungry. He hungry. He hungry. Okay, so he's ready to go. But um, this is how my lips look. And my camera died, so I'm now using my phone. But um, I started to tell y'all that I was using this product, which is a, I want to say a permanent lip liner, but of course not permanent as in forever at least i don't think they call it a tattoo <laughs> they call it a tattoo but i don't know how long it lasts but it's supposed to be you know a little waterproof and i love that because i'm a girl who loves my lip liner i love my lip liner down from long time and so yeah, like when you go out, you eat, you drink, you eat it off, eat off your lip gloss and stuff like that. And then you have to re either reapply it. And most of the time, I don't keep my lip liner on me. So then your lips just look bare. So I've seen one or two persons using it. Maybe not this brand, but I went on Amazon and I found this. So yeah, I peeled it off and this is how it looks. If I do this, let's see. Now I did mess it up a little down here, but if I do this, there's nothing. Nothing, I'm happy about that. So I'm just going to apply my lip gloss now from Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk. So the bathroom is a little messy because this is where I was doing my hair. You see all the hair products. But yeah, this is the outfit. Cute, but simple. We're just going out to get a bite to eat. I have a full... <laughs> I have a full mirror right here in this room. The lighting in here isn't the best at the moment. But yeah. So this is me. Hair is done. It's not perfect, but it's better than the way it was, honey. <laughs> And y'all don't mind the clothes on the bed. This is the guest bedroom. So, you know, using it as a little bit of storage and just a space to put things until you're ready to put them up, you know, that kind of way. So anyway, um, just this little tank top, my baggy boyfriend jeans, or I should say husband jeans, but they're mine. But, you know, they call them the boyfriend jeans from Old Navy. And just my Tory Burch slippers. And if y'all care about my outfit, that is. <laughs> this little cheap bag hair, baby, BB, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. But yeah, so fit for the night. And I put on some lashes, y'all. I don't really put on strips, but my eyelashes have been, I don't know. They're trying to make a comeback. They're trying to make a comeback because the the clusters that i had in y'all they, they the glue pulls out all of your natural lashes and so they're trying to grow back and so in the meantime yeah they need some help so i just applied some little very natural looking lashes and yeah i think we're cute i think we're cute i may or may not take you guys with us tonight but this really was supposed to be the end of the vlog and so I may just capture some clips from tonight, but don't come back on to talk to you guys. Then I want to thank you for watching this far to the end of the video. I truly appreciate you. 
And whether you're a nurse or not, we'd love to have you here as a part of the nurse life. And I'm probably gonna change that name soon. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We would love to have you here as a part of the family. And so with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Bye.